For all your embroidery and digitizing needs, call Bees Embroidery. Two of the four family dollar stores here in Pahrump have been temporarily closed down. The issue began last Thursday when two 10,000 gallon water tanks on Charleston Park and Barney broke free from their foundation, the result of a large gust of wind in the area. The tanks rolled down the street into the yards of two homes. According to Nye County Planning Department Representative Brett Wagner, the two tanks were empty at the time. Wagner said that code compliance inspected the rest of the stores here in the valley and found that in fact three of the stores, one on Gamebird and Homestead, the one on Charleston Park and Barney, and the one on Leslie and Bell Vista, all had empty tanks on the property. The tanks are used for fire suppression and water is required. Wagner told News 46 that the water had been shut off to the tanks. The stores were given a seven-day notice to comply by filling their tanks with water and turning back on the water to the tanks. Wagner says that the store on Bell Vista and Leslie has complied. The other two stores were given a seven-day notice, which would be until next Monday, to comply with the order. However, they were also told that they would have to have a 24-hour fire watch and a person on staff until they complied. The building department visited the stores and found that there was, in fact, no employee on fire watch. The two stores, one being at Charleston Park and Barney and the other one on Gamebird and Homestead, were ordered to shut down immediately. It was not affected by the this because they have a fire hydrant in front of their store. The building department says that they have not been contacted as of yet by a contractor that would be needed to turn back on the water and fill up these tanks. After they are contacted and the contractor completes the work, the building department says that they can immediately open back up after they have the fire system inspected and a new certificate of compliance issued. Wagner says that the tanks were full at one time when they opened when they were issued a certificate of occupancy. How the tanks were emptied after that is unknown at this time. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46.